Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what periventricular heterotopia is, its causes, diagnosis, signs and symptoms, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. Periventricular heritopia, also known as periventricular nodular heritopia, is a condition in which nerve cells do not migrate properly during early development of the fetal brain. Periventricular heritopia is caused by malfunctioning of one or more of the following genes, ARF, GEF2, FLNA, ERMARD, NED, D4L, TMTC3, ARF1, and MAP1B, ARF, GEF2. The ARF, GEF2 gene is responsible for providing the information for making protein that helps with the movement of small sac-like structures within the cell. The ARF GEF2 protein then converts a molecule called guanine diphosphate then to another molecule called guanine triphosphate. FLNA. The FLNA gene is responsible for producing the protein filament A, which helps to build cells extensive internal network of protein filaments called the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton gives structure to the cells and allows them the flexibility to change shape. Filament A is also involved in the organization of the extracellular matrix, binding to proteins called introgens, which span the cell membrane and anchor cells to the extracellular matrix. ERMARD. The ERMARD gene is located in the endoplasmic reticulum and may be involved in neuronal migration. NED D4L. NED D4L helps to encode HECT domain E3 ubiquitin ligases converting them to protein substrates targeting specific proteins for lysosomal degradation. The encoded protein plays a critical role in epithelial sodium transport by regulating the cell surface expression of the epithelial sodium channel ENAC. TMTC3. TMTC3 is a gene that encodes a protein that belongs to the transmembrane and tetratricopeptide repeat containing protein family. ARF1. ARF1 is a member of the human ARF gene family, encoding small guanine nucleotide binding proteins that stimulate the ADTP ribosyl transferase and play a role in vascular trafficking as aviators of phospholips DRF. It's located in the Golgi apparatus and has a central role in intra -gold Golgi transport. MAP1B. The MAP1B gene encodes a protein that belongs to the microtubule associated protein family, which are thought to be involved in microtubule assembly. Studies have shown that the protein 1B gene plays an important role in the development and function of the nervous system. According to McGovern Medical School at the University of Texas at Houston, an MRI is first ordered if there are abnormalities in the gray matter nodules, resulting them to budge into the ventricular walls, the neurologist may order a PET scan to confirm diagnosis or examine the patient for related conditions. The first signs of periventricular heritopia is when seizure activity starts to take place. According to the Generic and Rare Diseases Information Center at the National Institute of Health, the following symptoms are associated 
with periventricular heritopia, abnormal bleeding, gastroesophageal reflux, hernia, pyloric stenosis, scoliosis, abnormal heart valve morphology, abnormal nervous system morphology, and aortic regurgitation. Additional signs and symptoms are focal onset seizures, joint hypermobility, patient ductus arteriosus, thin skin, aortic aneurysm, patellar dislocation, and shoulder dislocation. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, the following medications are available for patients with periventricular heritopia. Oxcarbazepine, carbamazepine, levetiracetam, topriamate, sonicamide, and glucosamide. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, additional treatments that are available for patients with periventricular heritopia are surgery, laser interstitial thermal therapy, keto diet, modified Atkins diet, low glycemic index diet, VNS, RNS, and DBS. In conclusion, periventricular heritopia, also known as periventricular nodular heritopia, is a condition in which nerve cells do not migrate properly during the early development of the fetal brain. Periventricular heritopia is caused by genetic malfunctioning of one or more of the following genes, ARFGEF2, FLNA, ERMARD, NEDD4L, TMTC3, ARF1, and MAP1B. There are many symptoms that someone with periventricular heritopia can experience, medication, surgery, Dietary and devices are all treatment options for people with periventricular heritopia. To learn more about periventricular heritopia, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.